Say you own a million dollar car. Most would say that's probably worth it to ship to status detail so I can work on it and do everything perfectly. But what if you own a $50,000 car or maybe a hundred or 200 or $300,000 car? At what point does it make sense to send a car to status detail, especially if you live out of state? On today's video, we're going to dive deep into this question. We're gonna talk about when it's an absolute no-brainer to send a car here, when it makes a lot of sense, and when you should probably skip our trip and do something local. Let's start with the easy, fast answer first when you should definitely not send a car to me. If you wanna do just a ceramic coating from basically any of my packages that range from $1,800 all the way up to $4,500 on the high side, I would not send your car to me if you are very, very far away. Like if you're in Texas or you're in New York or you're in Miami or somewhere really far away, California, I wouldn't send your car here for an $1,800 job or a $2,800 job because in those situations, you might have to pay about $3,000 in shipping both ways to get the car here. I would rather probably find, you know, see you find someone local who's pretty good, who's gonna do a great job and get it just done exponentially for less money. In most of these situations, not a lot can go wrong that will result in your car being, you know, destroyed or anything bad happening to it. Uh, would we do a better job? Yes, I do believe, you know, we do some of the best job uh, in the world in terms of paint correction and ceramic coatings and stuff like that, but that is a lot of money you're spending in shipping for a situation like that. So what if you own a million dollar car or over a million dollars or maybe a little less than that? Let's talk about all of that together and then we're gonna talk about all the key points of why you would ship a car to status detail. We'll cover that at the end. So let's say you own a car that's say 50,000 to 100,000 dollars. In that category, I would say you might want to do your car locally if you want paint protection film and ceramic coatings. Everything we're going to talk from here forward is going to be including paint correction, ceramic coatings, and PPF all together. Whether you want a full front or a full body is uh, its own conversation. Um, so see the other video that I have on that for, for that topic. So if you own a fifty dollars to $100,000 car, but maybe you are in you know, Michigan or you're in Wisconsin, we're in Illinois, like Northern Illinois, um, you know, that might make sense. That's a short trip that won't cost a lot in shipping. That might make a lot of sense and you, you're gonna know you're gonna get a great service from us. Now, let's say you live really far away. You live in California or Texas or Miami, Florida. Now, that might be a lot of money to send a car for an $1,800 or $2,800 or $3,500 package plus a full front, which would be, you know, over $2,000. Usually that's about $2,250, but it depends on the car. So the most sense that you're gonna to have to ship a car here is almost always gonna be full body plus the 28, 35, or 4,500 dollar package because now you're spending a lot of money so you're putting that all together. The shipping doesn't seem like such a big deal now um, but it's also, you know, the perspective also shifts when you talk about the kind of car you're doing. So I don't think most people are gonna do a full body install plus like the 3,500 dollar ceramic job on an 80,000 dollar car. That's happened before, but it's very uncommon, and I don't think that's gonna happen on a car that's gonna be shipped from Miami. So that's probably just, you know, that's gonna be in the category of probably do that car locally. Um, you know, everyone's got different budgets and things like that, but usually someone who's got a $70,000 car that's looking for full body plus my ceramic, they are the kind of customer that tends to maybe give me a little bit of a hard time. I wouldn't say it a hard time, but they're gonna question the pricing more um, because the pricing I have and the structure of this, the way we do things isn't really geared towards doing, you know, 70 or $80,000 cars um, for when it comes to full body. Now, lots of those cars will do full fronts plus like a $2,800 ceramic package. That's extremely common, um, but not to have it shipped here. So those cars might wanna stay local. Now, let's say you have a $100,000 to $200,000 car. Like that happens all the time. We've had a lot of customers ship from out of state, very far away, a car for a uh, full front plus custom rockers plus the ceramic and uh, paint correction. And we've had a lot of customers do that on a hundred to $200,000 car where it's full body plus a ceramic package. Both of those are very, very common. Now, when you go over 200,000, like 200 to three, 200 to four or 400 to five, anything in that range, it, you, you approach very quickly the no-brainer category, which is if you, I don't, I don't care where you live, I don't care how far away you are, I don't care if you live in Canada, like you're you know, international in that sense. Um, if you own a car that's that much money, so you own a Sport Classic, for example, or you have a 992 GT3 or a GT4 RS or any kind of Ferrari or Lamborghini or anything in these categories of cars, Aston Martins, whatever it is, um, 
these are no-brainers. Simply put, if you've purchased a car that's that much money and you can cover the taxes on that and you're even considering having a conversation with me about doing a five-figure detail, whatever the shipping is going to cost to get that car here is not relevant. It's, it's not going to change anything for you. Um, so that's when it becomes a no-brainer. If the car is that much money, it's a no-brainer. If you're below $100,000 or below like $120,000 or anything in this realm of, of money, you can start to have a little bit of a hard conversation of whether you know the shipping will make sense because the shipping can be anywhere for $1,000 round trip to $3,000 round trip. It just depends where you live. And uh, you know that's a big deal for some people when you buy like a $60,000 car, like I was saying, $3,000 in shipping is a lot stacked on top of a detail. That's when going local is gonna make sense. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. Anything over $100,000, you should be having a very strong conversation about, yeah, it's probably worth it. Anything over 200,000 is a no-brainer, in my opinion. Now, let's shift gears and talk about why you should be shipping your car here, because all of our customers that have already shipped a car here know exactly why they shipped it here, but maybe you are a, uh, you know, potential customer. Maybe you're watching this and you definitely want to, but you need the push or you've, you know, had the conversation with me and you already heard all this stuff on the phone call before, um, but maybe you're new and you're considering status detail and you haven't actually had that conversation with me yet. So you're just going to hear me say all this stuff again on our phone call, which we'll have soon. Um, but if we haven't gotten there yet, I want to give you guys kind of the idea of what's going on here. So when you ship a car to status detail, you're getting just the highest level of care. So the car is getting a high level of care. The paint correction is going to be perfect. Your ceramic is going to be installed perfectly. I have about 10 years of experience on paint correction and ceramic coatings now. I am at the highest level that you can operate at that, in my opinion. My, my paint correction and my ability to make a car visually perfect from a paint perspective is, is, is better than most, in my opinion. I'd say we are at the highest level of that. And then the paint protection film or PPF um, is one of the main reasons you're going to send your car here. Putting paint protection film on, or we'll say PPF for the rest of the video, uh, is incredibly complicated and incredibly difficult. Uh, this panel behind me here like, is, is one piece. So this goes all the way down into the rockers. It goes all the way back and it goes all the way up. It's one of the most expensive pieces of paint protection film or PPF you will put on a two-door car. This is also one of the most complicated pieces to put on perfectly. Lots of people can put this piece on, but if you put this piece on and things don't go so perfectly, you get awful adhesive lines for where you're pulling and stretching. These are very, very obvious on black cars, not as obvious on white cars. Um, the way this is cut into here is done exceptionally well. Everywhere I can you know, fold an edge into something so you can't see that edge so it's invisible is done. Um, this is very, very complicated to do and a lot of people make it seem like it's easy. We make it seem like it's easy on camera. I assure you, this is not easy. It's very, very, very hard. So if you spend a bunch of money with someone locally to do this and we were a few thousand dollars more, a lot of people, especially in the segment of buying cars that are two, three hundred thousand dollars, are more than happy to ship a car to us, pay the shipping cost, and know the car is being done perfectly and correctly the first time versus dealing with a local person who might not work on cars like these all the time, and they can cause a lot of problems or the install might not perfect, be perfect and then they have to go back and have the car done again and again. Almost every one of my customers doesn't, we won't say complain, but you know, you, you don't love that we have the car for so long. But doing things perfectly takes time, and I always tell people, please don't rush us. We want to go at the pace we have to go to get it done perfectly, and if you rush us, it's going to go quicker than that. And then we're not going to have the time to do what we need to do perfectly. So you, you don't want to do it twice, right? So like doing it one time wrong and then having to send it here, having to go back to the original person and have it done again and again and again, that is agonizing if you're already waited six, seven months for your car to come and you just want to drive it. Um, so do it, you know, doing it once, I think there's the, the saying like, you know, buy once, cry once, like that's, that's kind of the status detail uh, situation when uh, you're doing a really, really high end car and you want to do it right. We also do full bulk installs, which means we don't plot, which means we hand cut everything, which allows us to make everything look like it's invisible so it's not on the car. But lots of people um, who hand cut aren't very good at it, which means you might get really wavy lines. It also means you might get a person who puts too much pressure and putting too much pressure means you're going to cut through the paint. Um, there's always like a very, very, very tiny risk of cutting through the film too far and getting a light mark in the paint. If you do a full body install, in my opinion, there's like a very small chance that you'll get like a centimeter nick somewhere eventually on the car. It's a lot of cutting. It's possible. This is not a big deal. It shouldn't freak you out. It shouldn't scare you away from PPF. What should scare you away from your local installer if you don't know them or don't know their reputation is a person doing a full body install who's not very experienced in hand cutting. They might cut 
everything on the car, which means like cut through the, through the film. So that means like this whole section and then this whole section and this whole section, by the way, like everything will have cut marks on it. You don't want like your whole car traced out in knife marks. That's terrifying. A one centimeter nick somewhere in a full body, not the end of the world. That's gonna happen sometimes. Again, that should not scare you away from PPF. If it really is a big deal, you can always wet sand these things out. It's not a big deal. But a person who has no, like for lack of better terminology here, no talent, no skill, and just does really fast jobs or shops that are really high turnover. So people who have, you know, detail shops that might have 20 employees or something where you know the installers are going in and out with only three to six months experience and then they quit or start their own PPF business. These are the places that freak me out because those people don't have the you know the cuts like you know like like, like we have thousands of cuts behind our, our our knife we're more comfortable with what we're doing people who have been doing it for two or three months who are thrown into the mix to start doing cuts on cars might only have a couple hundred that's scary that guy might cause more problems and cut the entire car versus the one centimeter on a full car massive difference between the quality of those two things now also the kind of film you're going to get is a big deal we use s tech sometimes i call it s tech sometimes i call it stec both of these are interchangeable that's that's okay to call them either way um, it's, it's still, to my opinion, hands down the best film on the market. It, it is the most clear and has the least orange peel. I love that it has that hydrophobic top coat in it, even though we ceramic coat over it. Having that all together as one synergy of a, like a ceramic coating system is great. I really have grown to like the adhesive. I think any adhesive on any film um, can be good or bad. It just depends how long you work with it. Once you get used to the adhesive, I think it's, you know, personal preference. So other films don't necessarily have bad adhesive. You just need to use it long enough to get used to it. And we've definitely been using s -Tech long enough now um, to be used to the adhesive. So we're just comfortable with it. That's not really a pro or a con. It's just a, we are comfortable with it because we've been doing it so long. We've started to work out our soap solution. We started to work with a little bit of gel from CarPro. So we're using CarPro gel plus our normal slip solution. And those coming together has created this new synergy where um, in my opinion, you know, the s -Tech adhesive works even better. So, you know, longer you do this stuff, the better you get. But the orange peel and clarity of that film is a, is a perk that you can stack against every other film on the market. And we believe it's the best um, just from a visual perspective. I do have a video on this. If you are curious to see it firsthand for yourself, just go check out that video. It is the Expel versus s -Tech video that I've made. And uh, that shows everything you need to know. Beyond that, the uh, customer service and support that you get is also a really big deal because Aztec has had an unbelievable customer care for us and customer service. Um, every once in a while, you might get a roll of film that's not super perfect or there might be actually a small defect in it. When you print out like millions of feet of that stuff a year, it's possible that there's gonna be a little defect in the film. And we just scrap those pieces of film out and then they credit, credit us for the film. And that's an amazing thing. It's been seamless every time. Uh, I've even mentioned it a couple times to them just to say, hey, this happened so they would know about it. I wasn't even asking for any credits or anything, but they gave me a credit anyways just because they're great people. Um, so I have a lot of trust in the company to do the right thing. I can't say the same thing about other companies, which I won't name by name, um, but there are some companies out there in the PPF world that uh, I just don't trust from a, from a position of the way they do things and the way that things have been done in the past. I, you know, We'll, we'll leave it at that. s -Tech, I can't say enough great things about them. They're very uh, great to work with and they make an incredible product. Now, one of the most important reasons uh, you probably wanna send a car to me is we do this every single day. And that's, you know, sounds, sounds like kind of cliche, right? But for the last two or three months, I think 99% of the cars I have done have been a Porsche. They have been a 992 and they've been either a sport classic or they've been a 992 911 or a GTS or a GT3 or a touring. Um, we've done a lot of GT4 RSs. I've done a lot of 918 Spiders, a lot of 918 GTSs. Um, I just, I do Porsches so much that it's crazy. We're gonna start doing a lot of Ferraris. We have three Ferraris schedule, basically scheduled that are coming. One of them is really rare. Um, we have a Nissan GTR Nismo coming soon. Like all I do on a daily basis is work on exotic cars that are worth well over a hundred thousand dollars. And that gets back to that segment earlier about if a car is worth over a hundred or over 200, it becomes a no brainer. Um, that's all I do every single day. So lots of other detail shops will work on a car like this. Occasionally, if they're lucky, these are incredibly rare, the sport classic. Um, but beyond that, it's like, then they work on a minivan. And then they work on like a $30,000, like, you know, whatever, like BRZ or something. And those BRZs are cool cars, but there's a different, you know, sense of what's going on and like liability for the installer and, and, and all that stuff. When you're working on a car that costs as much as a house and you're working on a car that costs $30,000, that's, that's different. 
Um, so every single day I work on a car that is about $300,000 or more, and they're typically Porsches, and this is what we do day in, day out. And when you work on this platform, for example, the 992, we've done so many Tourings, GT3s, Sport Classics, Turbo S's, GTS's, like so many of those that we have like our own process now for how to do this hard hip that's hard to do, how we do rocker panels, how we do custom rockers. I've done it more than most people in the world probably have, which should make you more comfortable. Like, like would you rather have the guy who's done two or three 992s or the guy who's been doing them nonstop for the entire 12 months of this year almost? Like we are going to do a better job than most people because this is just normal. And that makes you so comfortable when you're working on it because we can do it with our eyes closed. So it makes it not scary. You know, one of the, one of the things you never want um, to have happen, and this is a, a kind of a telltale red flag, is if you drop a car off with someone that's expensive like this, and the, the installer or the person about to work on it, or even the person who's like the front desk person is freaking out like, oh my God, it's a sport classic, I can't believe that. Like, that's a little scary to me. Like, if you've never seen one of these before, and it's like scary, crazy, exciting, like jittery to see it in person, like that means they've never seen these before and it's really rare that they get them. Like people drop off half a million dollar cars with me and I'm just like, yeah, cool, look at that. Cause like I've seen 12 of these in the last like couple months. Like it's not, you know, these are cool cars, don't get me wrong. But the point is that like the, the shock and awe and craziness of that has worn off for me. Like, I, like it's, it's just another car to do perfectly to me. It's not like a, an insane crazy thing that gets me hyper and like jittery and nervous. Um, you want the guy who's cool, calm, and collected, who's gonna do your car perfectly, not the guy who's gonna freak out and be like maybe a little nervous because it costs so much money. Um, that doesn't phase us anymore because this, this is just our life, you know, every day of the year, 365. Now, the main reason I actually made this video um, is to talk about this sport classic and because I've done two of these now and I wanna talk specifically on the defects that this car had. Now. I specialize in paint correction, it's how the business started, and I've put so much time into that that I can't even categorize it or count it. It's, 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 it's a beyond a reasonable healthy amount of time uh, researching, developing my own methods, then researching more, then putting that work to practice and you know, figuring things out. Um, and I know Porsche paint better than probably any other car's paint, just because I work on so many of them. Um, and the 992 paint is a little different than the 991.2 paint, and like it's, it's all changed a little bit, but I'm, I'm on top of all that. I eat, sleep, and breathe this stuff. I'm not gonna bore you with that. The Sport Classic has a painted stripe in the duck bill, in the roof, and in the hood. All these panels are also carbon fiber, so they're a little different than like normal standard panels. Um, this is a painted stripe. So the, on this car, for example, it's a black color paint. And then uh, there's a gray paint that's on top of that and that's the stripe. And then over all of that is clear coat. Now, typically manufacturers do like vinyl stripes. Like, you know, uh, Chevy does it on the Corvette and um, the Mustangs, I believe, have that usually. Um, that's like a vinyl stripe that goes over the paint. It's actually over the clear coat, so it's on top. Um, but this is all paint, so the stripe is paint and there's clear coat over it. For whatever reason, on the previous Sport Classic and on this Sport Classic, and I would bet a, a lot of money that on every single Sport Classic that's been made, all of these cars have pitting in the panels that have the stripes on it, which means the way, there, we, we talk a lot about you know, defects in paint, and uh, defects in paint or manufacturing, we should say manufacturing defects in paint are typically like sanding marks. So for example, if this car had a dust nib right here, it would probably get recognized, it's high visibility. Porsche will wet sand this out or sometimes I actually think they dry sand them out. And then they'll come back with like a rotary and compound that sanding mark out. And then for 99% of the world, or we'll say 90% of the world, no one would ever see that sanding mark. Now, if you bring that car to me 100% of the time, I will find that sanding mark and I'm gonna fix it. And then we do the film or ceramic or both over that. Um, that's considered a manufacturing defect. Now, technically speaking, the car's already been manufactured at that point and they find uh, the dust nib and then they wet sand or dry sand that out on the production line. So this car actually has like a legitimate manufacturing defect, which means when they are actually painting it and manufacturing it, there is something going on that's causing that uh, pitting to happen because it's only happening on the panels with the stripes. Now we've seen pitting on some cars here and there, um, but usually it's all over and it's always been on cars that are all one color. So for example, if pitting happened to this at the port because cars sit at the port and they experience issues all the time with Porsches, the pitting would be on the top of the hips 
It would also be on the top of the mirrors and the top of the front fenders. All of those were perfectly fine. It was only in the hood, the roof, and the wing. All three of those have the stripe in it. So something's actually happening when they're painting the car that's creating that problem. It's really, really, really bad. Um, so the good news is that they all have that. So if you bought a Sport Classic, don't worry. Everyone's got the same problem you have, which means all the cars have the same value and you're not losing value and your car's not super bad or anything like that. Um, here's what happens when you trust a bad company to fix something like this, especially if you listen to your dealership. And I'm going to try to emphasize the best I can. Your dealership is probably a good person, your salesperson and your sales manager and all the people you're working with are probably great people. They probably mean well and want to help you. They have no idea what the hell they're doing when it comes to paint or detailing. Don't trust their opinion. Find a good person, probably me and let's talk about it and let's fix it. Another one of the reasons you're gonna ship your car here is because I'm basically gonna be your detail concierge, which means when something like this happens with all that pitting, you're gonna to talk to me and we're gonna be the one source of you know, guidance and knowledge to tell you what to do with your car, and I guarantee we're gonna sort it out the best way we can. A dealership, like this dealership, for example, would guarantee be like, yep, we can fix that, we're gonna send it to a body shop. And the body shop's gonna sand the entire panel or just try and basically repaint it. The problem is with this, it's almost nearly impossible to repaint because the paint that, the pitting's over everything, but to repaint it, you'd have to repaint and remask basically the stripe and the paint because the, the stripe, the black paint and the striped sil silvery white paint is all under clear coat. So redoing that is incredibly difficult. Um, so you don't wanna you know, F up, uh, for lack of better terminology, anything to do with that. You wanna try and keep this car original paint. Now the, the, the video was called the Million Dollar Detail or something like that. Um, because this car is worth like 380, something like that. Uh, they currently trade for around 600,000. And a couple years from now, this car will easily be worth over a million dollars. So why do you ship a $380,000 car to us? Because in the future, it's gonna be worth over a million dollars and you wanna make sure this car gets done correctly. So we kept this car original paint. I paint corrected all of the pitting out, probably got 99% of it out. And the remaining like 1% that was left, we were able to fill in with PPF because PPF does have a wonderful uh, kind of characteristic where the adhesive uh, and because the film is so thick, we'll actually fill in small imperfections. Not crazy big ones, but it will fill in small ones. So once we get the correction state to a point where we know it'll fill, we usually stop because we don't want to go too far. We always say that you want to sand to improve, not to remove. If you sand to remove, meaning fully remove the defect, there's a really good chance you're going to run out of clear coat and screw up and that can lead to just needing to re-clear the panel, which can mean the orange peel won't match the rest of the car. It can also mean that you're gonna go so far or cause so much of a problem that you might actually affect the color coat. So if you do that on the stripe section, then you'd be screwed for, uh, for lack of better terminology because uh, repainting that would be really, really complicated because of the way it's masked and just don't, you don't wanna go down that road. So these are all reasons that you wanna ship a car to us. If you own a future classic car that's gonna you know, go up in value, don't mess around with $3,000 of shipping and, and, and think that that's the thing that's deterring you from coming here because this now is the best example of a Sport Classic and the other Sport Classic I did is also now the best example of a Sport Classic in the world because very, very few people are going to go to the lengths that we went to to paint correct this car and get all that pitting out, which means if you see this car in the world now next to another Sport Classic that I didn't work on, it's gonna be really obvious that this one looks better than the other one. Um, now it's gonna be really, really obvious if the dealership recommended to that person to have the you know, panels body shopped or redone because there's a really good likelihood that those cars aren't going to match. Also, this car came to us with 100 miles on it because he did Euro delivery, he drove it a little bit. Um, you don't want a car with 100 miles or 20 miles or whatever to have repainted panels on it. That's not, that's not what we're looking for, especially when it's avoidable if you find a good detailer like myself who can keep the car original, fix everything, and then perfect it, put PPF on it, and lock it in. That is worth way more than the cost of shipping a car to us. That's worth, in the sake, you know, the case of this car, this is a $380,000 car, future over million dollar car. What's $3,000 in the, in the difference of, you know, that, that, that huge window of, of margin? Like, just, just, just get it done right the first time, guys. Please don't mess around with this. I, uh, I hate seeing cars get done incorrectly other places, especially when they are special, rare cars. And to back up a second, to go back to the point about the dealerships, like I said, dealerships, the sales guys, all of them always have the best intentions. I don't think any of them are trying to steer you in the wrong direction by any means. Um, but you know, if you ask the average sales guy or the sales manager, or any of these people that give you, um, you know, the answers on how you should take care of your half million dollar cars or $300,000 cars when you have a detailing issue, they can't answer any good detailing question. Like if you ask them what's the difference between a micron and a mil, they'll have no idea. 
If a guy can't answer that question, he shouldn't be referring you to a body shop to sand your car. So you have to be careful trusting, you know, detailing advice from those people. You should probably be asking a detailer. Um, so just be careful with that stuff. That's why you shouldn't trust their in-house PPF guy or their in-house, um, you know, ceramic coating applications. All of those are a disaster. Please, please don't do those. I don't care if you use me. I don't care if you ship your car to me. If you're going to get your car PPF and ceramic coated, find a really good detailer and send them the business. They're going to do a better job than the dealership people 100% of the time. Um, so that, if, if you take anything away from this video, if you don't want to ship your car to me, just don't do it at the dealership. Do it with a detailer locally who has a reputation of doing nice cars. If we're talking about expensive cars, $100,000, $300,000 cars, bring it to a local guy that has a reputation of working on expensive cars who does a nice job and you know, has been doing PPF for a couple years, not a couple months. Those are probably the biggest requirements to, to figure out if you're going to go local versus ship a car to me. As a quick bonus category, a couple reasons why you should send a car to status detail, especially ship it here if you're out of state, is you know this is really a custom tailored experience. And I use the word bespoke a lot in my stuff on Instagram and in my videos and on the website. And uh, you know this truly is a bespoke detail, but it's also a bespoke experience. So from the second you call in, which maybe is on a Saturday at 7 p.m., I will answer the phone. That's just how I am. I care a lot about my business. I'm, for the most part, a one-man show, but I do work with a PPF installer who helps, and we do the cars together. Um, but, you know, I, I work seven days a week, and that doesn't bother me. I love what I do. This is a super serious passion for me. And uh, if you call me and make the time to call me, and it's a weekend, I will pick up the phone. If you call me at 7 or 8 p.m. on a weekday, I'll still probably pick up the phone. If you call me at 11.30 any night, I probably won't answer the phone, uh, but I will often you know, listen to your voicemail if you leave one and I will text you back if you leave me a voicemail and say, hey, that's great, I'll call you in the morning. Um, and if you email me, I'll respond to an email no matter what within 24 hours. So uh, if, you, if you email me at 11 o'clock at night, I'll probably be awake and I will probably answer that email. Um, that custom tailored experience goes from the beginning all the way to the end. Even after you leave, I will follow up with you and see how things are going. If you need anything, I make custom tailored recommendations on how to care for the car, products and things like that. Uh, while the car is here, we have certain things that might pop up and we will call you or text you about that, send you pictures. We've even done like Skype calls or video calls. Um, to walk you around something so you can understand how you might want something done because there's a lot of different ways to do certain things. Um, for example, like the way we do the uh, badge on the back of the car, the Sport Classic. On this car, we cut it out. On some cars, people want it debadged. Um, there's a couple different ways to do the back of like the duck bill thing here. Um, so there's, there's a lot of different ways that things can happen. Uh, sometimes we don't cover those in the initial emails and then we get to a point where we're like, oh, we're about to do that. And then I'll call you and if you're free, we'll jump on that video call and I'll walk you around it, give you the options, explain it to you. And then uh, you know, you'll be like, oh, that's easy. Like I want it done this way. And then that's done. A lot of times other detailers just don't flat out give you that option because they don't want to reach you or don't want to talk to you. So they just do it the way they think is best. And nine times out of 10, I think most people will make the right decision. Um, but it's your car and it's your decision. So we're going to you know, create that bespoke experience where you get to decide. Uh, I like to consider it kind of like the old school style of making suits, right? Like they wouldn't just make you a bespoke suit. Like you had to stand there and like they put the fabric over you and say, how do you want this? How do you want that? And that's how we're going to do your car. So uh, this is a very custom experience and that is important and it should be important to you because it's your car so it should be done the way you want. Alrighty guys, that's going to wrap up this video. If you are interested in shipping a car to me, please reach out. The best way to find me is on statusdetail.com. Hit the contact us button and you'll find my email, my phone number, all that stuff. You can feel free to call me or email me seven days a week. I'm always happy to help if you're going to ship or just want a car locally done with me. We use a company called Unlimited Auto Trans to move cars around. I have no affiliation to that company. I don't make any money from them, no kickbacks, nothing like that. I just trust them to move cars. The only fear that our customers have uh, about sending a car here typically is transport damage. And uh, I've moved a lot of cars with Unlimited Auto, including my own car. My RS5 Ascari Launch Edition was moved from Fort Washington to here. Um, and they did a wonderful job and they're very, very fast. And they've just, they are amazing people to work with. So I can't say enough good things about them. Um, you're always welcome to use any company you want. There are other companies that will probably do it for less, but Un Unlimited Auto does have some of the nicest trailers I've ever seen. One of their trailers in particular is hands down the nicest trailer I've ever seen in my whole life. I think the whole trailer together is like over $100,000. 
and uh, they've never damaged anything and they're, they're fully insured. They're just, they're very meticulous, kind of like me. So we get along really well. Um, so if you're interested in, you know, shipping a car to me, just reach out and I'll give you all the information you need, pricing on the details, help you figure out what you need to do on the car. And I can help put you in contact with Unlimited Auto so you can get the car here. And of course, if you're in the Chicagoland area, then you're local and it's super easy. And most of the stuff in this video doesn't matter to you because you don't have to ship it here. Um, so if you're local, we love local customers, that's great. Uh, I love to work with anyone and everyone, but at this point in time, it is safe to say about like 70 to probably 75% or more of my business does come from outside the state, uh, from all of you wonderful people watching these videos. So you, you know, watch our videos, see what we do, and you get so excited and you're so uh, ecstatic about the car you purchased and what we do that you wanna kind of team up with us and send your car. And that's how we've started to get so many out-of-state customers. So it is very, very, very common and normal to ship a car to status detail nowadays. And uh, if that might be you, please reach out. Alrighty guys, that really is the end of the video. So uh, I'll see you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, all that awesome stuff. I got a lot of videos coming soon.